All right, everyone, it is time to start art with Miss Sarah. Today, we are gonna be making this really cool paper towel art. Check it out. Whoa, pretty neat. What you're gonna need are some plain white paper towels. Just one piece will do unless you wanna make more than one. You're gonna need washable markers, any colors. Make sure they say washable on them or else it will not work. You are also going to need a permanent marker. This is a Sharpie. Um, I'm using a black one. You are gonna need some water and a shallow dish. I have this tray here that I'm gonna use. You could use a bowl or anything like that. So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to rip off a piece of paper towel. It does not have to be big and you are going to fold it in half. Just like this. Then you are going to take your black permanent marker and you are going to make a drawing. You can write something if you want. You could write your name. I'm going to write art. You can draw a drawing of a flower or a smiley face or a heart. Anything you would like will do. And just remember, you can always make another one when you are done. So I wrote out art, A-R-T. All right, next what you're gonna do is you are going to open up your paper towel art and you are going to go over those lines. If you can't see them on the inside, just go over them one more time, fold it back over and go over them one more time and the color should bleed through. So now that I'm done tracing over my letters, I'm going to add some more things to my picture. Uh, so I think I'm gonna add a paintbrush here. Now anything that you add on the inside of your paper towel is going to show up when we drop it in the water. So I'm drawing a little paintbrush here and then I think what I'm going to do is I am going to add some color. Now this is what's gonna really shine through when we drop it in the water. So I'm gonna go over my letters in pink. So here we are using our washable markers. Um, next, I'm going to add all different kinds of colors. Anything goes. You can add a rainbow, but the more you add to this part, the more will appear when we drop it in the water. So I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna finish my project and you guys can take some time and finish yours.
All right, I'm about finished with my drawing now, so I'm gonna fold over my paper towel and put that to the side. Next, I'm gonna grab my bin, then I'm gonna put water in. Let me pour that cup of water, and I'm gonna get ready for the magic to happen. Here we go. I'm gonna grab my paper towel that is folded still, and I'm gonna drop it in the water, and, <gasps> Whoa, so cool. Let's see some more. Now one thing you can do is if you want to save your paper towel, you can take it out pretty quickly from your water bin and set it to dry. I'm putting mine on a piece of tin foil and putting it in the windowsill. Now keep in mind these are gonna take a while to dry, but they look pretty cool. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.